What is up guys, Winter Kills here and welcome to the ban list video. So it has been updated. A lot of us have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for a new ban list after what seems to be a very stale format the past few months. Now I was just out doing some errands and I got a text from my friend saying that the ban list is out and it is insane, but he also was saying there are some things on this list that I might not be too happy about. Um, and if you watched my balance prediction video, you might get an idea of what those cards might be. And I'm really hoping the, the cards that I wanted hit are hit, but it's probably not going to be the case. It's probably really not going to be the case. So I'm on the UK page because the NA page is not updated yet. I just checked there and it hasn't updated yet. The UK page always coming in clutch being updated first for some reason. But let's go ahead and take a look at the first few cards here. And the first thing I'm seeing immediately, Orcist Harp Horror is at zero now. This is a shocker to me. I did not think that they would immediately kill the deck. But, I mean, you do have the new Orcus Gearsu card coming out in a few months. So, that card, albeit does not replace Harp Horror, but still makes the deck somewhat playable in a bit of a different play style. That, that is extremely surprising to me. I thought this card might go to two, maybe to one, but albeit that really doesn't solve the problem of Orcus being as powerful as it is. So that is the first ban card that I'm seeing. Moving on here, I see Thunder Dragon Colossus. This is insane. I, I, I thought this card should go to one as well, but I'll take it at zero. I will take it at zero 100%. This has to have been the most oppressive card in the game for quite some time. And um, it's it's just such an oppressive card. It really is. Like, it's a walking mistake that cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. It's just absurd. And the fact that some decks can pump out multiples of these um, or some builds of Thunder Dragon. And also not to mention in Master Rule 5, this deck becomes absolutely absurd. Putting out, you know, two Titan, two Colossus, or even more than that. Uh, so I'm really glad to see... This deck got hit, ripped to all those people that bought their ulti Colossuses at however much they paid for. Heavy Metal Foe is Electromite now banned. This is interesting as well. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess Pendulums do keep needing to be nerfed. It is one of the most, uh, if not the most, uh, broken mechanic in the entire game. So really exciting to see that this card is actually going to one. That's some nice change. Uh... I'm again I am very surprised about this. This is this is this is a pleasant surprise. And okay, now ban if the world chalice to Sissiar. This is a card that I was saying and thinking that it should be addressed at some point in the future because it does facilitate it does facilitate some absurd combos. Absolutely. So this is just getting it out of the way, I guess, addressing the elephant in the room, or at least what will become the elephant in the room. Tempest Magician, I can see why that is going uh, because of the FTKs. There's really not much else you can do about that. You do have to get rid of the harsh burn cards that are not once per turn. And now we're seeing Outer Entity as a thought going and Salmon Great Mirage Stalio. Wow. As a thought, I 100% wholeheartedly agree with, but the Mirage Stalio, I did not think Salmon Great would get hit, nor did I think that their best Xyz monster, their only really Xyz monster at this point, would go to zero immediately, three to zero. But again, I guess it's just a balancing the, of the format and resetting everything and trying to usher in a new format. That's what it seems like. Next here, I see Brilliant Fusion. Also going to zero. This again, this is seems like a preparation type deal uh, for Master Rule Five. Uh, Brilliant Fusion becoming much, much more viable under that new rule set. So I can see them just trying to tie up any loose ends with the Brilliant Fusion. Uh, Broad Bowl and Dryden still at um, zero. Um, I think Dryden could still have come back to one, but then again, I get why. And let's see if there's anything else banned here. Uh, looks like. <gasps> Oh my sweet lord, it is it has happened. This is the card that I was hoping. I told all of you, I told all of you. I told you all this card needed to go. People are like, oh, but but Winter, they'll just hit it to two and ban drones. No, absolutely not. This is the card. This is the card that has been needing to go to zero for so many months, and I am just so happy to see it right here on my screen. 
right now. This is this is great news. If if at all anything else, I don't care. This card is at zero. If anything I play gets hit, I'm just going down. And we're going down in the ship together, essentially. You're engaged, man. Whatever. I don't care. We're moving on. Anything else? Do we have any traps being banned? So that is it, actually, for cards that are banned. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine banned cards. This list is so far looking absolutely insane. This is absolutely huge. Um, so moving on. We have Danger Nessie now at one. Okay, this is interesting. I wonder if any of the other Danger Monsters will also be getting it. Dino Wrestler Pangratops going to one as well. This, I can see, is being a bit of a boost really to help out Rogue uh, decks because uh, Dino Wrestler Pangratops is such an oppressive card against so many Rogue decks. I can see why it goes to one here. Now I have six play sets as opposed to two. This is interesting. This is something I definitely was not expecting, but Pancratops is a powerful card. I don't think it's I don't think its effect is overly busted, but I think its oppression towards um, you know, control decks and rogue decks uh, is really parallel to none. And I, I'm glad to see that it is uh it is no longer at three, but I'm wait a second. Oh man, I got excited. I saw Seer here by himself and I didn't see Graf, but here it is. <laughs> All right, so moving further, I, I, I was thinking maybe Graf would have gone to one or, or, you know, two or three, but I guess not. That is fine. We'll keep moving down the list. Servant of Endymion going to one again. Hitting pendulums, you have to do this going forward. All right, so the page just wasn't loading. Okay, we see that Servant of Endymion has been limited, which is great. This card is a well-balanced hit towards pendulums. This card is absolutely absurd. And I'm seeing True King Lytho's Gasm the Disaster. Yes, finally. I mean, oh, I can't wait for, I cannot wait for more ways to search double evolution pill. I'm, I'm ecstatic. No, I'm not. But whatever, I guess, I guess it's only fair going forward that we finally bring back the disaster himself. So moving on here, let's see what else we have. Necroz of Unicorn, okay, still at one. I see you. Card of Demise going to one as well. That's a hit to Draco, and you know what? Ladies and gentlemen, we finally got him. I'm very, very happy to see that. Dragonic Diagram! Yes! Yes! That is, I, they know that's totally fine now. If Lithosgasm comes back to one, if you're hitting Diagram to one, this card has been at three for so long, and I am so, so happy. I am so, I'm so incredible for that. Into the Void. Into the Void. Okay. All right, I'm really glad that I just paid $45 for a playset of a card that is now at one. I'm really glad about that. Really, really ecstatic about that one. But again, Pot of Avarice. Pot of Avarice. This is incredible. That is incredible. All right, I, we're seeing so much change. Sekka's what? Sekka's light? No. No. <laughs> No, no, this is no, oh my god, okay, I was really, uh, hey, but engage is banned, I'm fine with that, engage is banned, we'll, we'll make it work, we'll move forward, we'll make it work, I'm sure we will, red reboot going to one as well, very interesting, again, I think this is just trying to help out these meta or these rogue decks essentially and with also lightning storm on the released like coming on the horizon hitting cards like red reboot and panker tops make sense since basically we're getting harpy's feathers duster uh at three in the tcg here so do does make sense to me so now going to the semi limited deep sea diva and tour guide oh my god so it's a give and take it's a give and take and mind control going to two okay i I like that. That's a trend that I think... Wait a second. Let me go back to limited spells here. Is terraform... Okay, terraforming is still at one. Okay, so is Upstart Goblin. Okay, so... Deep Sea Diva, Mind Control, and Tour Guide. Uh, that is amazing. That is absolutely incredible. Okay, so Dark Arm Dragon is at three now. Lady Debug going straight to three. Morphing Jar number two. Who cares? Before Mage Damage Juggler... Tribe Infecting Virus and Kagari going to three. Book of Moon. Finally, Book of Moon going to three. Absolutely incredible. This card has been collecting dust, I think, in everybody's shelves for years now. 
and I think it will still continue to collect dust, but now you can have three if you really want to. But anyways, rank up magic launch. Finally, this I think that's I think that's okay. Um, granted, you can still rank up now into VFD and Kelly Yuga. Granted, it is harder to set up since Bardish is still banned, but um, I think these setups that we'll see with this will be very, very inconsistent at, at best. Solemn Warning at three, and Soul Drain also to three. This has been an emotional roller coaster, to say the least. Um, I like I, I don't even like engage is banned. That's great. Like, there's just so much information to process here in this video. I might have to make like into the. I like if there's one thing I'm the most upset about, it's the end of the void. Like, I get it. Like, you know, you have to hurt hurt the combo decks. You have to slow them down a little bit. But I mean, I just paid forty five bucks for a playset of this, and that hurts a little bit. That hurts a little bit. That hurts the wallet a little bit. Um, that's why you should, guys should use my TCG Player affiliate link and also check out Imperium Duelist below. Um, but <laughs> Saka's Light also going to one too. This has been an absolutely insane list. Um, there are some things that I'm upset about, and there are some things that I'm ecstatic about. So I guess my friend was absolutely right. In his wording and his attack smashes that he sent me. So, Tribe Infecting Virus, an old school classic coming back. That's very, very cool. Um, a lot of people have been predicting this card coming back. Deep Sea Diva and Tour Guide. I didn't think it could happen, but it's a give and take, I guess. I mean, Sekka's Light really only seems like a hit to Block Dragon BA. Like, I mean, there might be some, like Safer Thunder might also be playing Sekka's Light, but I really don't think they do. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's going to do it for this initial reaction video. I'll probably make a Aftermath report video. Uh, sometime in the future, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, usually I don't get too hyped up with reactions, but like this list actually warranted it in my opinion. A lot of incredible hits being made, so that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Join the Discord down below for some discussion. I'm sure people will be talking about it there and are already are talking about it, but yeah, as always guys, Winter Kill signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one.